Hello everyone, my name is Alex and welcome to my very first Android Beginners tutorial for the Android Beginners tutorial series, I think. That sounds awesome. Alright. Anyway, I've been look looking forward so much to do these this series. I should as well. I just wanted you to see this awesome I hate pink logo on my desktop. I'm actually going to move, move it down here so that we can actually see what I'm doing. Or so that you guys can actually see what I'm doing. Now, the first thing we need to do before we can actually an develop anything in Android um, is to download something called the Java JDK and we're also, no we're not going to download the JRE the JRE, we could download that as well but that's for something else uh, that's the Java runtime environment and the JDK stands for Java Development Kit and we'll need it in order to make games and programs on our Android f telephones or phones, whatever you want to call them s or our Android devices so what we're going to do now is we're going to open up our internet browsers minus Chrome and each one of these tutorials is going to be like 5 to 10 minutes long so it's going to be quite interesting hope you guys will enjoy this series I will show you step by step how to be a Android game developer or just an Android program developer whatever you want so, in the first tutorial, as I said before, I'm going to download the Java JDK. Probably I'm going to download Eclipse as well. I'm going to see how much time we have left. Now, I do have, like, a limited of time, but I just want to keep them short. I want to Google Java DK, no, JDK, actually. Java JDK. And the first link you should see up here is the Java SE Downloads. Now, you want to click here. And the Java SE stands for Standard Edition, if you've been following along my other beginner's tutorials. So we got the Java SE downloads, and this is just in the same way as as before. If you've been follow, following along that series, um, we got the Java SE 7 update 4 here, and we're gonna download the JDK for that. We're gonna hit the download link here, and accept license agreement. Now you want to choose your operating system, and you want to choose for this one, for this up here, not this one down here. That's the it's still the same thing, but it's just a demo and sample downloads. So, I'm going to download the Windows 86, which is for the 32 bits. I want to hit download here, and what this is going to do is that it's going to give give us one of these files here. Uh, it's going to be an installer for the JDK 7 update 4. Now, once you've downloaded that, there's one more thing we need to do before we can actually start developing Java stuff. Now. You don't need this if you're developing Android, but I'm just gonna go go through it just just for um, just for for um, the normal sake of Java. If you want to develop stuff out outside of Eclipse, for example, so we're gonna minimize this. Once you've been, you've gone through this installation guide, it should pop up in your in my Alex downloaded downloads here. It should be right here. <clears throat> then you can double click it and you can run it and you you can go through it. Now, once that is done, we want done, done. <laughs> oh my God, that sounded very, very strange. All right, so once that is done, we're gonna go over to actually setting up the whole Java thing. So we're gonna go inside our computer here. We're gonna go to our, to our C drive or wherever you installed your Java. And I installed my Java, I think, my program files if you can find them. Um, program, wow. Oh, there we go. All right, and then Java down here. You can see that, that we got the JDK 1.7.0 underscore 03. Now you download it, probably download the 04 update or the fourth update, or you might have not downloaded. You, you might have downloaded like the 1.8, whatever. Uh, it should just say JDK in the beginning. I'm gonna double click this and go to the bin here. Now, if you're on Windows 7, you want to click up here and copy this path here. Now, if you're on Windows XP, I think, you're going to have to go to Properties here, and you're going to have to copy this place, location thing here. You, then you can close this down. Then you're going to go to your computer here, right-click it, and go to Properties. Now, from the Properties here, you want to go to Advanced System Settings. From the Advanced System Settings, you can go to this Properties setting here. Actually not. <laughs> you can go to this Environment Variables right here, so they're wrong in my my uh, Java beginner tutorial series as well. That's awesome. <laughs> All right. So for the variable name, you want to hit the the new button here, and for the variable name, you want to go with path. Has to be path, else else this is not going to work. And now you want to 
you want to paste the link in here or the, the place, the location, whatever you have here. I'm going to hit OK. Now we got a variable for that. All right. You just want to hit OK. OK and close that down. So now we should have we, we, we should have set up Java correctly. Now it's just a few things missing and we're actually going to have enough time for, for downloading Eclipse in this episode as well. So first of all, what is Eclipse? Eclipse is a coding software which allows you to type in code and it compiles everything for you. And in this series, we're, we're, we're going to be working with a, with a plugin or plugin for Eclipse, which allows you to make Android things easier in Eclipse. So we're going to go to our internet browser, just going to remove this, and we're going to go for with Eclipse.org. Now, when you hit Eclipse.org, this page will appear. It might look a little bit different for you. Then you're going to go to the downloads page right here, and you want to see that you're going to see that there are several downloads that you can download. I'm going to go with the one at the top, Eclipse ID for Java E developers. Now, the it's not necessary. Um, I would normally go for the just the, the for Java developers since we're going to use a, a a plugin, but it gets a little bit easier when you're getting into this stuff, and you also have uh, Java EE um, that you can download as well. I think it's for like the web and stuff, but but if you, if you don't if you don't want it to take a little bit extra time because this is 212 megabytes and this is 128, just go download this one. But I'm actually going to download this one at the top here. I'm going to go with Windows 32 bits because that's where my computer are. I want to click here, and it will take about three minutes or two minutes for it to download. So I'm just going to pause the recording and I'll be right back when the download is downloaded. And by magic, the download is downloaded. Or the thing is downloaded. Alright, so I want to click this show in folder here. If you're on Google Chrome, you want to do the same. Now this just says one because I've, I've got one downloaded already. Um, um, no, um, can I rename this? Oh wait, no, of course I can't rename this. Um, YouTube? Oh yeah, <laughs> all right. But what I want to do, what I'd like to do, is I'd actually like to drag this to my desktop. Uh, and I'm just gonna drag this over to my desktop, and we're gonna continue working with this folder there because this is Eclipse. This is an extracted folder of Eclipse. Now I want just want to show my desktop icons. Whoa, that looks terrible. It looks terrible. It's terrifying. Not really terrifying, anyway. All right. I know you guys laughed there. I know I'm so funny. What is humor? I don't even know. <laughs> All right. Anyway, just extract that. You should know how to s extract this. And once you've extract, once you've begun extracting it, it's gonna take a lot of time. Yeah. So by magic again, my Eclipse folder is extracted. All right. So. Just to let you guys know, if you didn't know already, I'm I'm gonna take these tutorials quite fast in the beginning. These first tutorials, that's why I'm like doing everything like super fast. Just try to follow on, pause the recording if you need to. I'm I'm more for more in for teaching the code, the code you get the coding um, instead of like just doing all these boring stuff. Anyway, all right. So you should have this Eclipse folder right here extracted. So I think so. Um, yeah. It should it should it should be right here. So then we can drag this folder out on our desktop. You can even 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 drop it into your program folder in in your computer. C and then program here. But I'm just gonna have it on my, on my desktop for the tutorial's sake. Uh, all right. So once you you've done extracting it and move moving this folder out of the the big folder, you you don't have to move it outside this. And we can actually delete this, but it just looks better. And we can as well rename this to Eclipse. Now we're gonna open up this 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 program here because this is Eclipse. We can even do a shortcut send to desktop, send to desktop here. But I'm not gonna do that for the tutorial's sake. So that's all for this tutorial. And in the next tutorial, my Eclipse should be loaded up. Just this little screen here should be loaded up, and um, I should be able to install the next thing. There is one more software we need to, to install. I know, I'm so sorry, but, you know, software installing, it's part of my job, you know, so.
well have a great day and don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed this tutorial and this is what we're gonna work with in the next tutorial and if you want to meet me in my bed afterwards that's not fine that's not very good yeah all right thank you guys for watching and and thank you for standing up my my terrible humor and my terrible jokes and um, yeah have fun don't forget to subscribe and comment and rate this video if you enjoyed it soon gonna go into the coding and um, in the next tutorial, we're going to try to do less talk, more coding. No, wait. Coding is going to be in two, two tutorials. We, we've got one more thing we need to install first, then we can actually move into the coding. Which is going to be awesome! Oh, yeah!